everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruth and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. In today's workout, we're gonna do flexibility, stability and mobility workouts. So today I don't have my fancy hair. As you can see, this is my natural hair and that's because I'm having an allergic reaction to something at the back of my neck and I still don't want to do anything to touch my neck. It's very irritable. And yeah, so this is my natural hair. No equipment needed, just get some space and let's begin, okay? So we're gonna start with balance exercises and I want you to put your left foot in front of the right foot, like so. And I want you to hold here for 10 seconds. And this is just to lessen our wider base of support and see whether we can balance on this. I have two more seconds, one and now we're gonna move our arms as if we're walking like so. Same 10 seconds here and we're gonna destabilize our balance and if you're Losing balance, engage your core and balance. Two more seconds here. Good job. Our next exercise is still on the same stance, but now moving our head. Woo! You'll notice that uh, our balance is between our ears, and if we move it like that, we lose balance. So we're still trying to stabilize ourselves by engaging that core to, oops, to bring the balance back. Two more seconds here, good job. Next, we're gonna swing our trunk, so our whole body. 10 more seconds here. Remember to engage that core. And two more seconds here, good job. Next, we're gonna look to the ground, eyes to the ground, and shut your eyes, okay? So there we go. Sometimes we, we engage our core and just focus on something to ensure we keep our balance, but now we're removing the, that visual aid. I have two more seconds here. Good job. Our last one is looking at the ceiling up and balance. Good job. Three more seconds here. And switch legs. So right foot is in front of the left. You can make them touch. And we're gonna do the same thing. So be still here for 10 seconds. Remember to engage your core throughout this exercise. Our core is everything when it comes to balance, when it comes to movement. Oops. We have two more seconds here. And we're gonna move our arms as if we're walking. If you're finding this challenging, it's okay. It, it takes some time to get used to, so don't worry. Two more seconds here, and next is moving our head. So, oops, I lost balance. So, move your head. Oh, this side is much harder. Oh my god. We have five more seconds here. Just try to maintain your balance. And whew, that was challenging. Our next is moving our trunk so similar to moving our head but now our head is not moving as much two more seconds here you can feel it in the core it's like a core workout and eyes to the ground and shut removing that visual aid if you're losing balance, you can open your eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. And get back to it. Two 
two more seconds and good job last one look up you can open your eyes or close it you can give yourself a challenge by closing your eyes two more seconds here and good job so that's it for balance exercises you did great we're moving on to mobility exercises let's get straight into mobility exercises and our first exercise we're going to go down on our mat and we're going to lay on our side like so knees bent arms forward like so and you're going to pull back with your upper arm and follow it with your head like so and come back so like this make sure your elbow is straight and we're gonna do five more last one Good job. Now we're gonna switch sides. Two more. Last one. And good job. Our next mobility exercise, we're gonna lay on our tummy and move your arms as close as you can, as close as you can to your tummy, like so. And you're gonna relax your shoulders and lower your neck and come up like this. So we're gonna do five of those. Let's go. Last one. Good job. Our last move for mobility exercise is a shoulder lift and this is how we're gonna do it so my left arm goes all the way straight on the other side and I'm gonna use my right arm to come up like so so making sure my elbows are in line perpendicular to the ground as far as I can so there without lifting my hips there you go and we're gonna do five of these. Two more. Last one. And there you go. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Right arm straight left arm bent and that's the one that's lifting me off the ground so there we go and if you feel you're not lifting as much off the ground just make sure to bring this arm that's lifting you up closer to your chest two more Last one. And good job. So that was thoracic mobility. And we're now going to move on to our final exercise for this video, which is flexibility. We're gonna start off with a back stretch, butterfly back stretch. So you're gonna bring your feet together, soles of your feet. Excuse me, touching like so. 
Make sure your chest is out. Tummy in. And hold for five seconds. Good job. And pause, a little pause. And we're gonna go right into that. But this time around, arching our back. So like that, okay? So here we go. Going slowly, arching our back. And feel the stretch in your upper back. Two more seconds. And good job. A little pause. Last time, start off with back straight, tummy in and relax, go into an arch, and come up, good job. For next exercise, <laughs> um, feet are straight. On your mat this is my left leg comes over my right and my right arm pushes the left the left leg and I'm gonna turn my head and look all the way back so like this so make sure this hand that's supporting you is close to your body so that you are not as far and you will not feel the stretch okay so I'm gonna hold for 10 seconds, let's go. Good job, I hope you felt the stretch in your spine. So we're gonna switch, right leg comes on top or over the left leg and my left arm pushes that leg. This, this other arm right here is close to my body and straight. And look all the way back and hold for 10 seconds. Good job, that was a nice stretch. Our next exercise is the hum hamstring stretch. So we're still seated and make sure you go all the way and touch your toes without bending your knees and hold for 10 seconds. You can stretch further by bringing your forehead as close to your knees as you can without still Bending your knees. A little pause. And let's go back to it. Just go deep into the stretch as you can. For 10 seconds, hold. Good job. Next exercise is the inner thigh stretch. So I want you to open up your legs like so and go as far to the center of your legs as you can and feel that inner, inner thigh stretch. If it's too much for you, you can come up. If you wanna go deeper, just go further down. Do not bend your knees. And hold for 10 seconds. Good job. Let's take a break. And going back to it, open your legs. And stretch. You can point, you can choose to point your toes in front.
And you should feel the stretch all the way in your inner thigh, your inner um, calves. Two more seconds here. Good job, and come up. And our next exercise is gonna be a seated glute stretch. So I want you to bring your right uh, foot and place it on your left knee. And you're gonna come as close to the other leg as you can and just feel the stretch down your hamstring and your glutes. So just stay there for 10 seconds. Good job, come back up and straighten that leg. We can do this interta interchangeably. So bring that other foot on top of the knee and sitting as close as to the flexed leg and chest out and breathe. Oh yes. That's a deep stretch. Good job. Let's switch legs. Ten seconds hold. And this exercise is you can actually do them right after work if you sit too much. Um, if you've had a legs or a booty workout that's made your muscles a bit tense, you can do this. Or if you're, you've had a, a challenging workout that's giving you muscle soreness, you can still do these exercises, flexibility exercises to ease in off the soreness, yeah? So let's switch. This is the last time. And chest out and breathe. Good job. Three more seconds. Good job. And our last exercise today is going to be a, a child's pose. So you're going to go on your knees and just straighten your arms and um, forehead to your to the mat. Let's go. Good job. So this is a high child's pose. You can do the long one when you where you're your toes are extended. So there you go, like that. But if you can't do this, you can still do the other one where your toes are flexed and just stretch. So hold here for 10 seconds. Good job. Let's do that one more time. And good job. So that marks the end of our workout. I hope you had an amazing time. We did flexibility, we did stability, and we did mobility. So make sure you come back to this video whenever you feel like you're losing some balance or you had a fall and you want to improve your balance, you want to improve your flexibility, and you also want to improve your shoulder mobility. So that's it for today. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.